I lost my job, but it's okay. So last year, me and my sister and my dad, we founded a company specializing in English education and study abroad. And then the city locked down. More than 25 million residents in Shanghai found themselves in full lockdown in early April. COVID lockdown, Shanghai style. 26 million people, by some measures the biggest city in the world, confined to their homes. So I literally had to shut down my company and I used to do some freelance work and now there's no freelance work because all the schools are closed. So now I'm facing a very serious problem. I gotta go out there again and look for another job. You know, I have a couple options. I could kill myself, which actually a lot of people did during the lockdown. Um, but I'm a pussy, so I'm not gonna do that. While I'm looking for a job, which is really hard during these times, I wanna pause a second and talk about how to manage your emotions while you are unemployed. First and foremost, I think we need to understand that job is not everything. You are not your job. Understand that we live in the material world and making money is very important. You have to pay for the bills, but you also need to be aware that you are not your job. You and your life should be outside of your job. Your job is only a very small part of you. It might take a lot of your time, but it doesn't mean it's who you are. Secondly, I think it's a great opportunity for you to explore. Now you have more time. Go out there, discover yourself, follow your intuition, follow your interests, and try different things. You know, one door closes, there's also another one open. So, you know, there's no black and white. There's no things that are 100% bad. You know, there's always another side to a thing. Even if it's like a really bad thing, like losing your job, um, it always opens another portal if you pay attention. For example, I've been doing a lot of crazy um, I adopted a new schedule. I wake up every day when the sun rises. So basically it's like around five. I've been following the schedule for a month, more than a month. So every day I wake up by five and I go to bed around nine or 10 because, you know, um, I don't have money to go out social. And uh, how, well, sometimes I couldn't fall asleep until like 12 or one and I only get like four hours sleep. That's because of, you know, of my anxiety that I couldn't find a job, but it, I'm trying something new and I'm discovering myself, you know? Um, I haven't been working out for a long time and uh, you know, in the morning, there's no one there. And it's, it's a great opportunity for you to just unleash that pent up energy and just, you know, work it out. I cook more. And also, I don't have money to go out eat anymore. So I, I cook a lot. Um, that could be that could be a, a hobby. Sometimes I go to the park. And I see these stray cats in the park. They're like so cute. And this handicapped little cat with one of her arm, you know, broken and she, she was like crippled, stumbling through the, the lawn. And it, it's so sad, but it's also so inspiring because such a terrible thing happened to that cat. But that cat, you don't see she was mad. You don't see she was sorry for herself. She still, you know, look for food and look for people to pet her. She's like such an inspiration. You know, when I see her, I just like forget all my bullshit, like how pathetic I am and how sorry I am for myself. Like how I'm like the, the, the biggest loser. None of that bullshit because None of that matters. All of that crazy things were created in your own head. It doesn't exist, you know? So, you know, go to the park, nature, animals can definitely help you to heal. And also sometimes I see like homeless people and like, they're like sitting in the park. They're just like sitting there um, in such a state that is peaceful. 
and it's, they're just emanating this calmness and um, sometimes I really just want to quit everything and just like live in the park, sleep on the bench or that kind of life it's very appealing to me just run away and join the circus hang out with your friends, make new friends I have no friends, shocker uh, but recently I do feel like especially when I'm home a lot and I need that human connection because I used to talk to students my students are my friends but now I'm so I spend so much time home alone even though I enjoy my solitude but I need human connection if you don't need it that's fine if you 100% you know cool with just you being you stay home meditate whatever um, that's great but for me I think hang out with friends, go to dinner, play sports with friends, um, they really help me uh, get through uh, some of the very difficult times. And I think that could be really helpful. All right, so that's your takeaway. I know it's hard to be employed, but instead of soaking, go out there, look for the job, but also know it's not everything. Um, take your time, you know, be patient, uh, be conscious be aware of your emotions also take the time to discover yourself explore different hobbies meet friends meditate read and do whatever the f you need to maintain your calmness your peace because that is more important than finding a good job you know it's your mental state your inner purpose it's so much more than the outer purpose, which manifested into a good job or better pay, whatever. But always remember, it's your inner purpose to be conscious, to be at peace, is what matters most. All right, thank you guys for watching my video. I really hope you like it. If you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.